<laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Carla from the Learn English by Speaking English show. I need to think about where I am these days. I have too much going on. I'm sorry, people. And we are here to speak to you in English. So happy to be here. Having said that, I want to remind you the show is sponsored by the Institute of Peace, which is an online organization promoting peace one conversation at a time. <laughs> If you want to come to speak with us, you need to do a very easy act. All you need to do is come. Sorry, my computer is showing me something. Is come. Download the Zoom app, first of all. After you have downloaded the Zoom app, what you need to do is come back here, click on the GiggleFest University link, and you will go to a page that not only has the Zoom link, but it also has the password for the show. I know it's working. No one could be here with, without it working. If you have a problem, I'll, you'll write it in the chat. I know you will. And I'll just tell you to restart again and do what I said. Everything is working. I have someone here who will be doing the Zoom for me today. Um, I need to bring him in in a moment. And you're here to speak English. Just relax, put a smile on your face. The reason I tell people to smile is a chemical thing in your body. When you smile, it sends a, a message to the brain. And the brain begins to think differently. Because what it happens is the brain sends a message to your hormones to your endorphins, your happy hormones. And they begin to surge through your body and you begin to relax immediately. Use this to your advantage and you'll, you'll be fine. Trust me, I know what I'm saying and I know it works, okay? Having said that, I'm going to ask Pamela, which many of you know now, Pamela and Raheem to begin introducing themselves. And um, I'm bringing in Zarez, who was here yesterday. He also has been helping me behind the scenes. And he will be um, doing some of the Zoom work, giving me a chance to get a break from that and focus on what I need to do. Pamela, start um, and Zarese, I'm going to give you a few directions right now very quickly. And I'm making you a co-host, okay. Go on, Pamela, please. Okay. Well, hi, everyone. First of all, I've missed all of you, and I've missed being here. Um, really? Yeah. My name is Pamela Hills. I'm from Newark, Ohio, here in America. And this is a very, very busy month. Um, if you live in the country, if you have a garden and everything, it has been raining here for the past three days. Yesterday, I could plant flowers on my patio, but I can't do much of anything else till the rain clears out. So I contacted Carla and said, guess what? I can be here today. <laughs> so I am happy to talk with all of you again. And um, I look forward to it. Okay, take it away, Raheem. <laughs> yeah. So uh, hello everybody, uh, my name is Shaheen Fatima. I am 12 years old and I am a stand-up comedian, a writer, and entrepreneur. 
a teacher and also a theater actress. And I'll be helping Carla, Pamela, and Zarees today with the show. So please feel free to come and talk to us in English. And so the way Carla explained how, you know, what, thing, what things happen to your body when you smile, you know, I was immediately like, now I know why selfies make me happy because I smile. And that may be the only time I get you to smile. <laughs> okay, so um, um, I am not, I'm not a gloomy person. I do smile, but I'm kind of off my smiling thing. I used to smile a lot. My mom and Carla both are working hand in hand to, build, to bring me back to smiling. That's my job, Raheen. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, Giggle Plus University. So you're the Giggle Lady. Um, Zarez, can you please introduce yourself? He is muted. Okay. He should know how to unmute himself. Or... Okay. Thank you very much, Carla, for bringing me in. And it's my pleasure to be introducing. Uh, viewers, this is me, Zarez Mughal. I'm from New York. I was born and raised in Pakistan, but I am here for the last uh, seven, eight years in uh, in US. Uh, I have been working with Carla for the last uh, few weeks as a virtual assistant. I have been working on her uh, Facebook page and uh, YouTube channel as well. Pamela, I have seen your uh, few videos and uh, you are such an amazing lady. Uh, I saw your live as well. And Raheen, I, I know you. <laughs> Over to Carla. Well, actually, why don't you talk about your smile and how a smile may help you? And I'm going to let you guys talk as we're bringing people in. There were two people here who disappeared, and I don't know what happened to them. But, okay. Pamela. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, and thank you for um, your kind words. Um, I love your background. And, and everything, can you explain where this is and, and what these pictures are, are, are of? Yes, it's a basically a green screen effect. And I have a, I have put it, this video on the back as a virtual, a virtual uh, green screen. That's cool. Now, is that in New York or where is this at? Yes, it's New York. New that York. is New York. What do yes. you think of New York? New York is an amazing place. It's all skyscapes, and uh, I have been here for the last uh, seven years. And every single day, we uh, we get something new. Yeah. Every single day has a lot of new things going on. But uh, for unfortunately, for the last uh, four weeks, uh, it's terrible because we are in the situation of uh, COVID. But uh, as we don't as, even say that word. No, I'm not going to discuss about COVID. <laughs> no. But um, I've been to New York once, and that was when my children and I were heading toward Germany, and we stayed at a hotel in Queens oh, okay. and, and saw some, some of uh, New York as the taxi cab driver took us to the airport. Mm -hmm. But... And then we see New York every New Year's Eve <laughs> when yes. the ball drops. Ball drops, yes. Yeah, with millions and millions of people. Um, not, it is, it is. yeah. I, I realize that New York has changed a lot. Um, can I ask you, uh, where is one of your favorite places that you'd like to eat at? And the uh, food? I live in Longerland, so we have a bunch of restaurants here. Uh, in Longerland, um, I like Asian foods. So we have barbecue night and uh, we have uh, Eddie's. Uh, it's nearby, it's not far from uh, my house. Okay. Yeah, New York, um, of course, because of Ellis Island, was home to 
millions of immigrants Absolutely. who brought their food and there's restaurants in New York from all over the world. Um, there are a bunch of uh, places close to Broadway and uh, 45th Street. 45th Street, there are a bunch of places. Hills, Hills Kitchen is there. Uh, if you like Asian food, it's on uh, 30th, uh, 30th Street and Lexington Avenue. So it depends. Yeah, I know there's a lot of old world delis too. Uh, yes, Italian, yes. It's like Jewish. Halal, uh, you know, halal guys are really right. famous here yeah. on, uh, in the whole New York. Uh, it's, uh, 53rd Street and 6th Avenue is one of the famous places. Wow. And then uh, there is one more uh, chicken uh, uh, sandwich place next to NYU on uh, McDougal, uh, 99 McDougal Street. It's very, in the downtown area. Very cool. Yep. Very cool. Okay. I know there's two other people here. So I don't know if Carla's ready to move on. Um, well, you're going to have to talk to them as I'm doing that at this point. Please, I'm um, okay. just it. Also, the race, if people do not put on the camera, please tell them to. If they don't, within five minutes, just remove them. Okay. Everyone needs to have their camera on for the whole show. Okay. And you can unmute people as we're going through. All right. No, you may not commit open your camera later you need to do it now or you will be removed or put in the white room until you're ready if you see that message you just put them in the white room mm -hmm. and they stay there okay um i forget najib you have to the count of five to put on your camera one two three four five he goes in the white room. Don't put them on hold. Put just put them on the in the white room. Okay. No, take him off hold because we may not bring him back in. And no one needs to put up their hands. I will make that adjustment now because we will bring them in. If I see it's someone who has been here before, they are not to come today. Anyone who was here um, yesterday or this week may not come again today. Okay. Where? Where is he? Okay, can you please have a conversation? Sure, sure. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, oh, here's someone. Okay, Raheem, I've talked. Yeah. Now your turn. <laughs> yeah, so, um, uh, yeah. So, Ace, uh, haven't you moved to, like, if you're living in New York, weren't you in any other city? Like, it's seven years living in one city. It's no, rare no, for not me. at all. I have been to different countries. I have been to different states as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. And like, so do you eat often at the Halal Guys? Because I have a part of my family living in New York. Okay. Well, actually, I have a lot of people living in the United States, but a part of it are living in uh, New York. So my cousins are like, you know, you should actually try that out. I'm like, really? We get Halal food here, so we don't need the Halal Guys here. But... um. <laughs> Yeah. As like, you know, if we go to Islamabad, we all know we all have to go to Caesars. Yeah. If we are uh, in uh, uh, Punjab, we have to go for like the favorite dishes. In, in Karachi, we have biryani yeah. and Halim. Everybody loves that. So here in uh, New York, two things. One is Jaro. We like yeah. Jaro. Everybody wants to eat Jaro. And the second thing is... Uh, uh, a lot of us like uh, halal guys. They do have a jarro style, the same yeah. they have, but they have their own uh, uh, sausages, so they make it different. Yeah, they have this very special super secret sauce kind of thing, I've heard. Yes. 
So I wish I could actually get the recipe for that. But of course, I mean, why would they give it to me and not to their potential customers? No, you can get it. You can get it. If you go, if you check it on the YouTube, definitely you will be able to get it. My sister always uh, check it on the YouTube and she always try new things. And she, most of the time, she makes better than them as well. Okay, ah. we, have, we have someone here. Let's move to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was here yesterday, but he we, we couldn't talk to him because he was actually sleeping on camera. <laughs> ah, this was the person I threw out because of that. Okay. Yeah. He looks like he's very widely wide awake today. Maybe he can explain what happened yesterday. Hello. Also, also, he needs to turn off any background noise that there is. Dual, if there's a cap, a TV on or anything in the background, you need to move to a quiet area. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, are you getting me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. What, what was going on yesterday that you were sleeping while you were here? <laughs> Yes, yesterday I was sleeping because I live in a hostel and I don't live with my family and there may be some problem. If I speak at midnight, there may be some problem with my other roommates and they feel disturbed. That's why yesterday I was sleeping and today uh, I just had dinner and now I'm ready to talk about and in this group I'm first. Today is my first day, and now I am learning English. And I am, uh, I began to learn English before one month. Let's stop you right away. Where are you from, Dalal? I am from Bangladesh. Are you living in Bangladesh now? Yes, of course. I am Bangladeshi by birth. Ah. Where do you I, live in Bangladesh? In Bangladesh, I live in Chittagong Division. Okay. What, what city is that? Sorry? What city? You said division. What city do yes. you work in? In division, it's the city's name is Kumilla. Kumilla. Okay. Pamela, and so do you you're to to him so I can. Okay. You're from Washington. I'm from Washington D.C. Yes. And I don't know. Um, I know nothing about the group. How the group deals. So would you mind telling me something about this group? Okay. First of all. The reason you were kicked off for sleeping is this show is reaches thousands of people every day. If you're here and you're sleeping and this is a classroom, that is totally inappropriate. I oh. cannot have you laying down because it's a classroom. I can't have you sleeping because there are people who want to talk to me and they're very much awake. And what you were doing yesterday was totally inappropriate. So I oh. had, and I asked you a few times to sit up and you did not. So finally, because I was talking to other people, um, I looked at you and I thought, okay, you're going, you're not staying, I can't have you stay. Yeah. Now, I am interested in talking to you and finding out about you, but you need to be present here when you come. That's, I mean, I don't ask for many rules, but that's a very important rule that I expect. 
Yes, of course, I am ready to abide by all the role and I'm sure I'll be very polite here. And yesterday I was the first man and that's why I didn't understand the role of, the, of you. And I'm very sorry for that. I'm really embarrassed of what has happened last night. Okay, well, it's over. It's nothing to be concerned about once, you know, things happen. And this is the <laughs> beginning of a new day. And we need yes. to look at it as that and not worry about what happened in the past. And I'm going to ask Pamela to speak with you. Um, yeah, so I can move on and get ready. So I can give people more attention. And Pirat Chacher, you have it to the count of five to put on your camera. One, two, three. Sorry, four. I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh. Please. You. Okay. But she was talking to someone else. Hi, I'm from America also, and it's nice to meet you. I'm from yes, Ohio. Nice to too. Yeah, I'm from oh. Ohio. Okay. Ohio. Very Ohio. nice to meet you, and I'm very glad to meet you. So okay. uh, I'm very new here, and I'm from Bangladesh, yeah. and I am undergraduate, and I'm doing my graduation on English literature. And that's why I'm learning English, because I have a dream to go abroad for higher education, uh, like America, England, or Canada. It doesn't matter wherever I get the chance, I want to go. Okay. The one thing you need to do is slow down your speech, okay? Because we talk slow here, <laughs> okay? Oh, I'm and very sorry. You know I'm why? slow here. Do you know why we talk slow? Because um, when you speak slowly, the sounds are a little different. But when you speak slowly, it is easier to understand you. So yeah, just slow down a little. OK. And now, I understand. OK, now if I understood you right, your um, your degree will be in English literature? Yes, of course. Okay, so you want to teach in a college or high school? Uh, I need higher degree like PhD and master's degree. And oh, that's okay. why I have a wish to go abroad. And I am preparing myself for IELTS examination and okay. I need a better score. Yeah. I will tell you, it's extremely important you come and do what you're doing here. Uh, the first part of that test is speaking, is introducing yourself. And the better yeah. that they can understand you in that very first, uh, I think it's like four or five things that you must um, understand when it comes to speaking English. The first one is very important. And that's what you're doing right now is speaking. And when you listen, you can pick up new words. It's like the second part, they may say something and want to know if you can write and understand uh, what they're saying. Yes. So this is a terrific place for you to come and, and learn this. And you don't have to speak every day, but just listen. Uh, listen to the English language. Become familiar yes. with the words. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, and I, um, I, I know you're going to do great. Your English is incredible. Your English oh, is- Oh, really? Yes, yes. You just need, you were so excited to speak English and that's why you were <laughs> speaking so fast. But uh, you're going to do amazing. You really are. Okay. I'm very new and I'm very happy to hear your appreciation. You're I'm very happy and I need to speak fluently like a native speaker. And I... You don't it's... have, no one, no one in the United States of America speaks fluent English. 
okay? No one does. Uh, we all have different accents. And the biggest thing is you being confident enough to speak to someone like you're doing here. This is why you only speak English here. Each person that you would talk to, you improve your speaking power and your confidence. And one thing that, that I was even taught this in school, and this is like preparing for your eyelids, like you're doing right now, stand before a mirror and watch yourself. Make sure that you're standing up straight, that you're making, that you're not sleeping, <laughs> that, <laughs> that you're making eye contact, you know, that, that you are seeing. And we were told what you do, and this is what you're doing right now, when you walk into the room, be confident, be positive, and command the room. In other words, there can be a thousand people here, but the only person they are going to be listening to is you. Yes, okay. Of course. Okay. Thank you. This is just my imagination that there are a lot of people in front of me and I speak with them. Right. You are on a world stage right now and you are getting whatever it is, 10 or 15 minutes of fame to speak, you know. So, you know, just be confident and, and you're going to do just fine. Yes, I'm, I'm very confident with my skills. I, I'm sure I will do better yeah. and I will be able to speak uh, not fluently, but better. Yeah. And, and, and that comes with time. It, it just comes with time. So, okay. Um, Can let's I see. just interrupt yep. for a moment? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> just very quickly. Alex, I'm happy to see you. Thank you for coming today. Yes, uh, very cool. And I'm very grateful for your <laughs> precious time, for giving me time. Okay, let me quickly say a few things and then um, Zarek, you're going to work with Alex. He's mm -hmm. great. He knows what he's doing and he knows what I expect. And he knows I can be a little difficult at times, but he still handles me. Well, you know, too. Okay. He still comes back to me anyway. <laughs> After having said that, um, Three very quick things. One, please don't put links in the chat here for your own stuff. This is not a place to do that. You're here to learn English, not to promote yourself. Number two, um, we will be bringing in more people. We hope to see more people today. I am very excited. As you can see, we had Dula Sarkar here. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. And we're, the new people will be speaking first. Um, if you want to come, you're more than welcome. If you come after we have locked the room, which I don't do very often anyway, or if you come really late, I will need to ask you to come back another day. But basically, if you have trouble getting in using the link, it may mean that you need to go back, restart your Zoom, restart your browser, restart your phone, and come again. It's just a technical problem. None of these people could be here if the link was not working. Number three, just click on that GiggleFest University link. You'll get the Zoom link, you'll get the password, and you're here. It's not rocket science. Anyone can do it. I know because Pamela gets here and she couldn't believe me. She, we need to do a lot of coaching with her when it comes to live shows. So if she's here, anyone can do it. 
Um, number three, please share this show out with your friends, your family, and your enemies. The way we get rid of our enemies is to begin speaking with them and begin understanding them. And that happens with conversation. So come, be an enemy. I don't care. Just come and speak to us and get to know us and let us get to know you. And with that, Pamela, you were talking to Dulal. Um, you can continue the conversation, please. Okay. Um, oh, he's muted. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. I was actually going to let Raheem talk to him for a Well, moment. whoever. Okay, Raheem. Yeah. So, uh, Dalal, uh, you're living in a hostel, but do you go often to visit your parents? Uh, yeah, I go to visit my parents twice a month. And now, because of coronavirus pandemic, I'm stuck at my home. And this is why it's very terrible for me that I can't go to visit my parents. And I'm so excited to visit them when the coronavirus ends. Yes. So, and uh, do tell me, so uh, how many friends do you have living in the hostel? How many friends have you made? And in my hostel, there are six members and there are two rooms. In my room, we live three members. And in my another room, we live three members. And they are very senior to me. And I am the only junior person in my hostel. Oh, and there, okay. are some, there are some basic rules in my hostel. I have to maintain that basic rules because I am very junior. And if I break the rule, they call me a uh, nonsense or a rude person. Well, they don't have the right to, but never mind. Um, because if they're if they're seniors, they need to you know realize what to call juniors and what not to say. Uh, but we're not here to talk about them. So you have any other brothers and sisters? Uh, in my family, I have three brothers, including me and my only little sister, who is in class 10. And she is just 16 years old. Yeah. And uh, do you mind me asking, how old are you? Uh, I am 22, and I will turn 23 in November. Okay. And uh, so, what are you studying? I am a student of English literature, and oh. I'm going to complete my bachelor degree next year. And after that, I will try to go abroad for my master's degree. Okay. So, uh, if you're studying English liter literature, then you would be like pretty fam uh, familiar to uh, books and you would be reading a lot of books. So, uh, yeah. what's your favorite? What's one of your favorite books? Uh, my favorite one is, uh, his name is well, written by John Milton, Paradise Lost. Can and you repeat it? Paradise Lost. Lost. Paradise Lost, written by John Milton, a famous poet from England. Very and good. I love Shakespeare. Well, Shakespeare is hard. Shakespeare's tragedy. And I have read so many tragedies of the boss. We call him the boss of English literature. And he is. Uh, could you would you like to hear some famous tragedy of William Shakespeare? Well, actually, the um, what I would really uh, so okay so I um, we have a lot of people in the room, but I'm so sorry. No, no, we that's cannot no just problem. kind of get it. Just carry but, on your um, room. 
Shakespeare is hard for me, trust me, for two things, two reasons. First, man, it's a tragedy. I start crying reading books. And I also start crying watching plays or movies. So I am a crier when it comes to that. And yeah. um, second, you need to sit with a dictionary when you're reading Shakespeare. It's so hard English. So, um, yes. you know, Shakespeare level is quite up now. But yeah, you could sit with a dictionary or something. Uh, then it might look easier or, you know, you might find easier. So what's one, one of the tragedies that <laughs> that's your favorite from, uh, from by it's, Shakespeare? Uh, it's Macbeth and Hamlet. Oh, I've actually These two watched are my favorite. Macbeth. It was a play. Yes. Macbeth is quite cool. I like which, you know, witchy stuff and witchcraft and everything. So. Mm. Do you love William Shakespeare's writing? I was saying that it is, it is about some witches, right? So I like witches. I like yeah. witchcraft. Uh, so do any of your siblings like reading books? Uh, no, I, my sister is very little and she's just 16 and she likes to study her academic subject. And I have another two brothers. One is married and another is a businessman. Mm, cool. And, and do anyway. you plan, do you plan on joining his business one day? No. No. Do you want to do a, you know, do you want a business of your own or something? Or do you want to do a job? A, I have, a, I have a, another dream. I will be a administrator in my country. Ah. Wow. An administrator. And before that, I need a degree from a world-known university. That's why I am learning English, and uh, you know, English is necessary to go abroad for higher education. Uh, yes, it is because it's like the global language. You see. Yes. So. Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Okay. You were asking, you were asking something. I thought I, do you mind if I ask you any question? No, just one question that you could ask. Yeah, we need to move on quick soon. Yeah. So, are you a student or teacher? Okay. I'm a co-host in a show. I come here a lot of times and I am a co-host, okay? But Excuse everybody's a student. For one moment. Um, Salem Roja, you were here yesterday. You may not be here today. I'm sorry. Um, you can't come back until next week. And I explained that to you yesterday. I'm very sorry. OK, go on. So I need a suggestion. When will I join here? Every day or no. every week? Once a week, because we're getting so many people and we have people who come back and I need uh, to be able to speak with everyone. So okay. unless you're coming in to help, you know, which is a possibility, we can talk about that again at a later date you can only come once a week at this point. I will be here after seven days. Right, that would be really good. Um, I would love to have you more often, but at this point I can't do that. And someone, I'll take care of that in a moment. 
what can is there anything you would like to ask me before we move to someone else? Question. One great answer. Only one question. Right. What is it? You know, your English is really good. Really? I'm yeah. very happy to hear this. And uh, I'm sure by your assistance, I will do better. And now let's not waste time. I, I'm asking you the question. So are you a teacher? Yeah, I have taught in Washington, D.C. for over 20 years. Oh, <laughs> and I'm very sure that and I was. But why is that so important to you? Which one? Why is it important whether I'm a teacher or not a teacher? Oh, because I'm telling you it's a story. It's a little story. And when I come on the internet, there are some offers from the teacher and the, the pair, sorry, they offer a course and they ask for money. And they tell that if you give me some money, I will teach you. I will talk to you. And I'm very new. I don't know what to do or what not to do. And I'm learning English only for one month. And I'm good at grammar and vocabulary. That's why it has become able to speak now. Okay. It is, that is for everyone, not just you. Oh. It's not just you. I say this at everyone. You need to speak slowly in order to be understood. Yes, of course, and so I'm very happy not... to hear with you. I'm very happy, and you three people are a great source of inspiration. And I believe your inspiration can propel me to be a very good speaker. And English is not my mother tongue. That's why I, I may have... Everyone? Excuse me, someone is interrupting us. Rajendra Kumar and Adon Ali, you need to put on your cameras, please. And you also need not to interrupt anyone who is speaking. I'm sorry, Dulel, say it again. And I, as English is not my mother tongue, I may face some problem. And I have to overcome my problem by someone's assistance. And I was looking for someone who are from United States or United Kingdom. And I got some, I got many person and they ask for money and they say to me that, yeah. Dilal, if you pay me $200, $300, I will talk to you. And I'm, I'm a student, how, uh, where I get money? And that's why I rejected their offer. And yesterday, suddenly I got this link and I went, I entered this group and I didn't know any rule. That's why yesterday I made some mistakes. And today I came to know the rules of that group. And I, I'm sure I'll be able to maintain every rule of this group. And I'm sure you can, but you need to understand if you go to any show where you want to speak English, especially a show that is Go, reaches so many people, they are not going to let you stay with you laying in bed and sleeping. That is just totally inappropriate for any show. 
And we yes. told you that. Let me finish. I told you that yesterday and said it a few times before I even removed you. So you need to learn that it's not just you, it is everyone. And we really do need to move on now, move forward. And has Rajendra Kumar, if you don't put on your camera, I will need to remove you, just so you know. I'll give you to the count of five. One, two, three, four. Thank you. But we need to move on. There's a lot of people to speak to. And okay. I want to speak to everyone. And even Alex, who's working right now, at least needs to get to say hello. I haven't said hello to him on camera for a long time. So... Bye. I put him to work, Bye. but he isn't talking at all. I'm very grateful for your precious time. Bye. You're... See you after seven days. Okay, great. Anytime from Monday to Thursday, you can come next week. It doesn't need to be seven days, but you cannot come before Monday, before next Monday. Okay. Carla? And Alec, yes. Carla, I just wanted to say goodbye to everybody. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. And also, Alex, I want to mention, Alex also has a show where he's working with people in English for free. Alex? I can't unmute you. You're playing around okay. with the button. Yes. So should I introduce myself first? What do you think, Alex? Yes, I, I should. So yeah. well, hello, everybody. My name is Alex, and I am from Brazil. I am 18 years old, and I live in a city called Manaus here uh, in Brazil. And uh, I also like to help people. and. I heard what Dulo was saying about teachers. Uh, general practice for me should be for free, like in group with people. But I do agree that teachers should charge if they will teach business education, engineering education, or something like that. But general practice should be free. It's the same idea we, when we learn a language from our parents. Are we learning business education? No, we are learning general practice from our fathers, from our fathers, mothers. That's what I think about what you were saying. And it was very interesting. Very well said, Alex. And as you know, I agree with that whole, wholeheartedly. And that's why this show is for free. Um, by the way, Ishak Adam, you have until the count of five to put on your camera. One, thank you. Um, okay, so you've introduced yourself. And what are you doing for me here, Alex? I am your co host. I help okay. you bringing and removing people if needed. <laughs> But what is your job today more than anything else? Uh, I don't know exactly. I, 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 I like to interview people on Facebook in order to get to know them. And in this way, we can grow together as uh, brothers and sisters. Yes. And uh, at the moment, I don't have an official job, you know, but... Uh, I do some volunteer uh, jobs, like uh, I have a show at night. I I'm not going to advertise my show here, <laughs> okay? Uh, and the, that's all. Alex, look at your face right now. What my are face? you doing? I'm talking to you. No, what are you everyone. doing? What is your face doing? My face is... 
is uh, smiling and I am right. opening my mouth to speak. <laughs> right, you are <laughs> smiling. How are you feeling now that you're smiling, Alex? Uh, I, I, I feel I feel good when I smile by myself, okay? Because if you smile uh, just because someone first you, I think that is not a true smiling. But I think if I smile by myself, when I speak with you, and if you say something interesting that will make my life better, I will definitely smile because your action uh, will impact my emotions and how, how I see you. Okay, can I make a suggestion, Alex? Yes, you can. I'm open to suggestions at all, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I'm saying this, because we were talking about this earlier, and I really kind of push it at times. When you're not feeling well and you put on a smile, it does help you. I just want you to try it once. I'm not going to push it. I know how you feel. We had a very clear conversation about it, but I want you to try it sometime, okay? Okay. Just I would support. Force okay. yourself. Yeah. Just force yourself to smile for one minute and tell me how you feel. Okay? okay. Nice. That's all I'm asking of you. And we have yeah. someone here that we're looking at walls and nothing else. Freddie, if you don't come back in, by the count of five. We will put you in the white room. He's back. Go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know the list of people and how we brought them in. So we're going to just go randomly I... and talk to people. And um, Dilal, make sure you're dressed, please. And I am going to make sure you're muted. Yeah, let's oh, Okay, oh, good. It looked kind of weird. Hello, can you hear me? Guys, can you hear me? Uh -huh. Um, Freddie, it's not your turn. Freddie, it's not your turn. Stay oh. muted until oh. I say you can talk. Okay, Maury, how are you? Let me unmute you. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Don't mute yourself. Once you are unmuted, wait until we mute you. How? Where are you from, Maury? First I'm of all, Benin. tell us your name. What is your name? He's muted again. He keeps playing with the button, that's why. Maury, do not touch the button. Let me control it, please. Okay. Is it okay now? It was okay. You keep on touching it. Do not touch it, please. Okay. Good, good. What is your name? Yeah, I'm Maury from Benin. From where? Uh, that is in Benin, where? West Africa. Can you Benin. please... That's fine, but you need to speak slowly so we can understand you. So you're from Guinea, okay. which I Be Benin, I say Benin. 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 Yeah, in West Africa. Okay. Are you a student? Yeah, I'm a PhD student. You're a what student? A PhD student. I don't understand you. Does anyone understand I, what he is saying? He needs to say it I'm, slower. Go ahead. 
Yeah, I see that I'm the PhD student. Nutrition students, is that right? Nutrition? Yeah. Nutrition. Great. PhD okay, students. Okay, let's say nutrition slowly. No. No, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm not saying nutrition, but I'm saying that I'm a PhD student. I didn't get it. Say it slowly. Is it he said PhD, PhD student. Oh, exactly, PhD. exactly, exactly. PhD. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Exactly. okay. What yeah. is your PhD study? What are your PhD studies in? Yeah, I'm studying uh, ICT usage in agriculture. So it is in agricultural domain. Oh, okay. So you're studying agriculture, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you pick agriculture? Yeah, because uh, in my country, you know, most of people, uh, they are involved in uh, agricultural domain. So uh, studying agriculture is a way for me to help people in my country. Great. So what do you plan, how are you going to help the people in your country? Yeah, uh, what I'm studying right now is that. Did he freeze? Are yeah. you frozen oh. or are you here? Oh, I'm here. Freddie, I'm here. you okay. need to be here and present and listening. Yeah, I yeah, don't I'm want to I'm say it again to you. I will remove okay. you. Okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm here. I'm all here with you. I'm not talking uh, I'm... to you, Maury. Freddie wasn't listening. Go on. Oh, okay, okay. Go I was on. saying that. Hello? Yeah, go, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I was saying that uh, I'm studying uh, agriculture. So right now, um, my focus is uh, how to use ICT because nowadays we know that we can use ICTs, for example, to spread agricultural information among farmers. So I'm focused on how to take advantage of ICTs, for example, uh, to spread how to cultivate, for, for example, uh, uh, maize, and uh, any new information, how to spread it and people to, to catch it very uh, easily. So that's what we are studying in my country right now. Okay, can you tell me, when you say ICT, I'm assuming it has to be inf information communication technology? Am I right or wrong? Yeah, yeah, uh, that's it, that's it. Wow. Information, communication, and technology. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What made you get into this area of study? Sorry? What made you decide that you were interested in computers and agriculture? This is yeah. really interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, for example, in, in my country, uh, we have uh, many farmers who hold, for example, uh, phones, they have their cell phones. So, and uh, we can see farmers use, for example, computers. So. Go on. Okay. Uh, for example, in my countries, uh, many farmers they hold uh, phones so for example taking into account that that fact uh, we can for example um, spread new information by sharing them on their phones uh, for people who get computers for example we can take it as well and uh, share in new information uh, through that tools so this is uh, because there are many people and the rate of people who get 
computers or phones uh, and they are farming. There are many in my countries and studying ICT uh, to improve or increase agricultural production, for example, a, is a way for me to contribute to the development of my nation. Very good. Yeah, there are many farmers in America who use this technology uh, that you are talking about. And it's been a great help to them in, in uh, crop production as well as animals. So, and I know that Africa needs this. There are many places who need food and need to know how to grow it. And so you will be a tremendous help to them. So, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Maury, where did you find the show? Uh, I just came across uh, yesterday, I can say, I came across uh, a video of your, I can say the compile video of your show. Someone uh, shared it. Uh, on Facebook, and I came across that, and I said today I will try to to, to have an eye on it. And uh, by by chance, I just uh, I join you, so I find it on Facebook. Are you having fun here? Yeah, very. It's very well because, as you can see, um, uh, in the beginning, I'm kind of frustrated because this is the first time that I'm meeting you i don't know maybe i'm saying uh, let me be straight to not get something wrong to disturb you so i'm having very very uh, fun here and i'm happy to join you this is a, a way for me to to get confidence and to get new people and to have an advantage of your uh, what you're doing here very wonderful so this is a time for me to appreciate that and tell you that this is a a good deed and uh, keep on just helping us. Very wonderful. Um, really, really happy. You very said happy. something, yeah. you said something very, very important. You were afraid to make a mistake, correct? Yeah. Yeah. This show is all about learning. One learns from making mistakes. If you knew everything, you wouldn't, you would not need to learn. The more mistakes you make, the more you learn. It's like taking, being proud of making mistakes. It's okay. Never yeah, okay. be afraid. I got it. Right. Okay, Never, I got it. Right. Never be afraid of making a mistake. Be afraid okay, of it. pretending you know everything. That is where the problem is. And that goes for me too. And believe me, I make made big, big mistakes. I made a mistake okay, okay. with a really good friend this morning, thinking I was doing the right thing. And this person got upset with me. Who knows? You, you never <laughs> know great. until you do it. Thank you. That's okay. right. And that goes for everyone, not just you. Anyone needs to learn that. Everyone needs to learn that. Thank you. You're welcome. So will you come again next week and make mistakes? Yeah, I will be, I can say, I will be always with you. Uh, if it's possible, uh, I will be each day, but I got to realize that you say it is uh, once a week. So quite often, I will be with you every week. This that is uh, great. an opportunity to seize and uh, I will, yeah, I will grab it and I will never let it go and take advantage of what you're doing here. So. I will be your guest every week. That's uh, what I plan. It will be my, my next plan. Yeah. Well, it would be wonderful to have you again.
But okay. meanwhile, watch English shows. You can watch my shows any day on my YouTube channel, Giggle Fest University. You can always watch the shows on the Speak English Foundation page anytime you want. The more you watch English shows, go to English movies, watch English television. The more you do that, the better you're going to become with English. It's okay. as simple I as that. Okay. Yeah, I will try. Yeah, I try to, to do it. So about your YouTube channel, uh, how could I get it? Very how easy. Oh. GiggleFest University. GiggleFest University is the channel name. OK, OK. And we are in the middle of uploading it, and we may be changing the banner again, which the race doesn't want to hear, but it's really possible. But everything is changing, and everything okay. does change. Okay. You know, something may be right this moment, or right this moment, but two minutes later, it doesn't make any sense. And yeah, you change yeah. your mind, and you do yeah, stuff that's, different. Yeah, that's right. Everything is changing, and uh, you know, so rapidly as we are in technology. Uh, what is right today may change tomorrow, as you're saying. So that's right, what you're saying. Alex, I don't know exactly what you're talking about. So tell us. I just read your message. I mean, I'm working hard to interview the most influential uh, Brazilian blogger. A few months ago, a few years, I think a few years, he was living in a village, in a small village. He was very poor. But what he is he's doing now, that is the most surprising because he came back to his, uh, when he, uh, to his village and he rebuilt, rebuilt those houses, that community. And he has helped that community. And now uh, he's going to uh, a poor communities and he's helping because he thinks he's rich right now because of those people who, who are following him. And he is, a, he is an inspirational blogger in Brazil. And he, and I want to interview him. And I think the best way to get to know him is through YouTube, Facebook. I need to, I mean, I need to show to everyone and then they can share uh, my videos and they will share in Brazil. And uh, perhaps I can get to him in a few days or months. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, I just happened to restart it, but I think you should continue doing what you're doing because no, you, I will. Will get, you I will will. get known. Very, very good, Alex. Alex is growing a lot, and we're supporting his growth right now. For an 18-year-old boy, he's doing a lot more than an 18-year-old boy normally does. What do you say, Senator Corey? Sorry? Alex is doing very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can see uh, what, he's, uh, what he just come to say. Uh, he's working well and uh, Sorry, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm I get it. I'm going to stop you. Who is Rajendra? Put up your hand. He left. He already because left. He, it's very late in his country now. Oh, because I would have gotten. Who's Miguel? Are you still here? Yes, he is. 
who is he? Is he under you or next to you? Miguel, put up your hand. Uh, under. He's, no, he's, he's beside you. you. Under. Well, I, I need to move on. I am oh, really? really being very spacey today. <laughs> okay, Maury. Thank you so okay. very much. Do come back. Okay, nice to meet you. But I'm going to ask you one question. What is the Not, next schedule? You can later. Poor Miguel. What is your quick question? Schedule. Uh, my first question is to ask the uh, the next show. When's it gonna be held? It's every day at nine, Monday through Thursday at nine forty-five p.m. Pakistan time. Uh, oh, for you in New Guinea, I don't know. It's twelve forty-five p.m. New York time. Yeah, what time right. is it in New Guinea? Yeah, right now is uh, 7 p.m. Okay, so you are seven, six hours ahead of us. Okay. No, you're five hours ahead of us. So it would be 5.45 p.m. your time. Okay. 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 Would, I, would I be with you tomorrow? Or? You can watch tomorrow. Okay. Thank okay. you. But uh, I can. Wait a minute. What were you saying, Maury? Yeah, I said that tomorrow, if I got the chance to be with you, could I get a could I get a flow, or I have just to watch you? Watch. You're going to have to watch. It depends. If there's a lot of people in the in the <laughs> room, I cannot bring you in. Okay. You can come in and then see what happens. Okay, okay. Bye. Thank uh, you. Uh, Carla, I really need to go now because I have something to do at this time, but I will try to go to your show tonight in Giggle Fest University with his race. Okay. That you... won't be happening tonight because of the changes with the okay. website. Until that's done, those that class okay. is can't is being on hold. Okay. I'll see you but tomorrow. So, I'll talk to you later. Do you have your seven o'clock thing tonight? Yes, I do. I think, remind me, I think I'm available. I may not be. Okay, no problem. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye, Alex. It's like okay, I'll, I'll do forget. it. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, Good to see you, Alex. Alex, don't stop. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He had to leave. Okay. We're down to two. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to happen, Pamela. <laughs> Pamela, I'm going to let you start and I'm going to, I need to leave for a moment and I'll be right back. Okay. 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 Who's next? Well, we want to see your face. Hi, Miguel. Miguel. Hello, Ray. We only see you like this. <laughs> Raise up. Raise. And do not touch your mute button. I can't unmute you if you keep on unmuting you. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more. More little, of your body. A little bit more. <laughs> It looks like your head's setting on a table. <laughs> Raise it up. Miguel, you are unmuted. Say hello. There we go. Hi, hi, there he is. <laughs> it's your turn. I, I, I just try um I just try uh how to go out from the meeting because I have I gotta go. <laughs> but okay. I I can find the way to go out from the meeting. But you're here now and we're talking to you, so talk. Yeah. Tell the world who you are and where you're from. I'm from Mexico, Mexico. Oh, okay. And your name is? My name is Miguel. Miguel, do you have a last name? Uh, Martinez. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, where do you live in Mexico? 
Puebla, Puebla City. Oh, uh, Palebro, Palebro? Puebla, okay. Puebla. Okay, and what do you do there? Um, um, I'm, I live here, um, but I work uh, online, uh, giving lessons online about audio engineering. Okay, I may have to take this, Carla. Um, okay, I'm here. Okay, let's see. Miguel? Yeah? Hello? <laughs> yes, so tell us more about yourself. You were talking about your education. Yes, I, I, I work uh, giving le online lessons about audio engineering. Um, I'm a musician too, and I have a bachelor in international marketing. Wow, so what do you teach on, uh, are you a teacher of engineering? Yeah. What major, what engineering? Audio engineering, sound engineering about sound. Okay, telecommunications. Mm -hmm. Great, great. And you are a musician as well. Yeah, yeah, right. So how, how do you make uh, your videos uh, on YouTube or do you have courses? Uh, excuse me, could you repeat again, please? Uh, you've made videos on the YouTube or you have courses on your own website? Uh, I just uh, live uh, lessons, live lessons. Oh, but you I don't have a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, you have a YouTube channel? I don't, I don't have a YouTube have, channel. Okay. okay. And what just live sessions. Yes, Carla? What kind of, um, sorry, I am really spacey today. What kind of instrument do you play? You said you're a musician. I'm guitar player. Ah. ah. Do you play <laughs> the big guitars? The big guitars? Like the Marachis band? No. Play? No? <laughs> Not no. <that. laughs> no, 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 no. No, I, I uh, electric guitar. Ooh. I play electric guitar. Oh, wow. I play uh, rock music, blues. Do you sing also? Jazz music, excuse me? Do you sing? No, no, I'm not a, a singer. <laughs> I'm a bad singer. <laughs> oh. Who? Uh, oh, no one says they're bad at anything on this show. No. <laughs> Who no, is, that doesn't go with me. Who's your all-time favorite rock musician? Excuse me? Who is your all-time favorite rock musician that you like to play? Uh, actually, I like uh, guitar players. Like uh, I don't know if you know, know, he, know him. About um, Andy Timmons, um, Steve Bay. They are uh, famous guitar players. Okay. Maybe you don't know him. They they are in Mexico. I'm thinking of Stephen Wolf and <laughs> and no. and um, um, uh, Stevie Vaughan and and um, people like that that play. Did you teach yourself to play? No, no. Um, I, I was uh, I was taking lessons uh, from Andy Timmons. I, I I was living in U.S. Oh. I was living in Dallas, and I took uh, lessons from Andy Timmons. Okay. He there lives is. there in Dallas, Texas. Oh, okay, cool. What do you but think I, of Dallas? Dallas Excuse is cool. What do you think of Dallas? It's pretty cool. I, I huh? love, I love yeah. Dallas. Yeah, everything's bigger in Texas, and they mean it. <laughs> I, I'm not a good um, uh, speaker. Uh, I'm not good talking Whoa. in English. Oh, you're doing I'm great. No, no, no. You never <laughs> say that here. Do you know why? If you say I cannot do something, you're right, you cannot do it. 
You are the only one who says you cannot. All you right. are the only one who does not believe in yourself. So you're the only one who will not do something if you say that. If you say, I can do it, even if it's not perfect, it's better you do it than say, I cannot do it. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, Your English is amazing. I agree. <laughs> Your English is beautiful. I don't even know why you said that. And I'm really upset with you for saying that. <laughs> Thank you. I could I... put you in the white room and get rid of you right now for saying that. <laughs> Never, ever, ever say I cannot do it here. Okay. Got it. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. No, I, I, I was trying to, to find a way to go out because <laughs> I uh, have many things to do, but I didn't find the way to go out from the meeting room. <laughs> I just was trying to do it, but there, there's a little Are you long... happy that you didn't go out now. <laughs> <laughs> There, there's a little line on the on the in Don't the corner. Tell him. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> but if you can read, that's where it's at. <laughs> but we're so glad you didn't go. Maybe you'll play some music for us one time when you come. <laughs> Maybe next week he'll come with his guitar. Yeah. I, I have bad news about it because my guitar is not here now. Uh, my guitar is in my sister's house and she lives in Houston. Now oh. I'm here in Mexico. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well, you better get another guitar before next week. <laughs> <laughs> maybe next time, because I know that I have to go back to Houston, maybe in... Um, I'm not sure, but maybe uh, December. I, I'm not sure. You know that I I, uh, I can't go now uh, about the COVID nineteen, but right. maybe. Yeah, the borders maybe. are closed. It's so not go buy a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> the electric guitar guitars are not that cheap. Maybe you can borrow one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe later. <laughs> oh. But you can come back next week. In fact, I'd love you to come back again. <laughs> um, okay. I, 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 um, I would like to know about your schedule, uh, about this meeting. Uh, it happens, live. it happens Monday through Thursday. And what time is it where you are now? Here uh, is 1.15. One um, 15. One oh, 15 past 1 p.m. Yeah. Okay. It happens for you at 1. Wait, you're at 11.45 a.m. in the morning. We started it. Between 11.45 and 11.55 a.m. in the morning. My time or your time? Your time. My time, okay. My time uh, is between 12.45 and one and 12.55. Yeah, it's that time zone. Behind me. It's that time zone change we have here in the U.S. <laughs> okay, what is it? every day? Yeah, every day? Monday through Thursday. Monday through Thursday. Okay. Nice, nice. I really need to improve and practice a lot my English because I, I really want to improve my English language. Well, you can come next week. Okay. Uh, next week? Yeah. Next week. Today's Thursday. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Tomorrow's Thursday and the room gets so full and I like to give people a good time to talk. 
So I need to be a little um, conscious about how many people I bring in. While okay, I bring I someone else in right now. But yeah, please come. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, you just so come too. and you speak and we have fun. Yeah, I I, I can see it. It's going to be uh, uh, good to be here with you. I know what you can play next week, an air guitar. An air guitar, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have one of those. Yeah, we all have an air guitar. We can all hum along. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you really want to leave or do you want to hang out? Uh, in fact, I uh, have to go. I have many Okay. <laughs> then I will remove you. Nay, unless you are a lady, you need to put on your camera now. Please write in the chat that you are a lady if you are one. Okay, Miguel, I'm going to remove Bye -bye. you so you don't... See I want you. to learn how See to... You. Adios. See you soon. <laughs> But See you bye. soon. It was Adios. nice to meet you. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. See you soon. Bye. Uh, actually, it should be like this. <laughs> okay. okay. Nay. This time I am. Nay, I need to know if you're a lady or not. Just one moment, Freddie. Nay, are you a lady? I can't. She's frozen anyway. She may be gone. Maybe I I can't do anything with her. I'm Thanks, right here. Freddie, you can say hello. Pamela, I am going. Now I really need. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will be back in a few moments. Okay. Shoot. Hello. <laughs> hello, Freddie. How where hey. are you from, Freddie? I'm from South America, Peru. Oh, uh, good English. Yeah. You think? Okay, you two talk to him. I'll be back and I'm just stopping my video. Okay. 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 We'll be waiting for you. Okay. Well, hi, Freddie. Talk to Pamela and Zoray. They can talk. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. And how about you? I'm pretty good right here. It's like uh, before, before this live, I was cooking. That's why I was trying to move right or to <laughs> not to not to like, and I not to have any problem with cooking. Oh, but, uh, you were cooking. That's why you had to leave and come back. <laughs> yeah, that's I I I understand that. Tell the world who you are and uh, tell them again where you're from. Introduce yourself. Okay. My name is Fred Contreras. I am 31 years old. I am from Peru that is located in South America, approx next to in the Pacific Ocean. And like uh, what I do is like uh, I am helping nowadays with this lockdown, the quarantine, uh, helping people to learn the language. I'm teaching them for free. I'm not charging anything. And I'm trying to do the other one because like, you know, I love this language. When I was like you know, 21, 22, I started learning because I saw some of my friends, they were speaking this language and I said, why not me? I can do it too. If they can, I can do it too. So I started learning this language and then so like you know, now I practice every day, Monday, Friday, no, Monday, Sundays, 27. Uh, I mean like you know, 24 seven, like you know, in the morning, <laughs> In the radios in the afternoon, I watch videos, I talk to people, I speak to native speakers. So it's like, uh, I want to be like, and uh, be fluently, be natural. That's what I'm looking for. You, you speak it very, very well. I would never know you were from Peru. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, tell me what it's like where you live. Uh, because uh, when we hear of Peru, we hear of like Monte Pichu, you know, Machu places. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
what's it like where you know what as, as far as uh peru what's it like where you live well i live in a capital city that is called lima peru the capital city so okay. what i mean like uh yeah for example machu picchu is one of the region that is located in cusco cusco is the city and from from cusco you move around like enough by by train almost like in a two hours and then machu picchu is located there it is the ancient we talk about like a it was an empire inca empire they built this place and, and also there there is like a the big stones this is in the by the mountain is machu picchu right. but it, according to my city right here what, where i'm living is lima peru is the capital city what we have is like a 10 million people living in this place so it's a huge place and I also what I live in this, like uh, what do we have in Peru? It's like uh, people know us is by the gastronomy. What do we have, we are rich in cuisine. So the gastronomy of Peru, it's really good. What do we have is like uh, a band, a lot of uh, type of food because we, we are mixed culture, multicultural. We have like uh, Chinese communities. We have Jap Japanese communities um afro-peruvian i know it's similar like an afro-american afro-peruvian we have a huge community this type of so peru it's like in a multicultural if you want to find like an a blonde uh blue eyes we have a community that that type of people too so in peru you have like a multicultural it's a mm -hmm. lot of people living in one country sharing the same place yeah that's that's kind of every country uh uh, and the, you know, in this century, because every we have a word called melting pot, which is uh, the the term that they used for America years ago. Well, now, oh, yeah. yeah, now every country in the world is a melting pot, because it you know you can travel here and there and everywhere. So um, okay, now you were cooking. What were you cooking? Make me you hungry. Know, what were you cooking? <laughs> you know, like you know, I live live alone in an apartment, so no mom, no girlfriend, no wife yet. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, have to, like, I'm play you know. I'm playing the violin for you. No, <laughs> so, so, it, you must be like, a very good cook then. I'm here. It's lunchtime here. Do you say what I'm gonna cook? Because yesterday I prepared spaghetti, and oh. then it's like. Uh, he said, uh, today I want to, I wanna, because I was in a rush, rush time, because like in a, at 2 p.m. I'm going to do something. Here is 122 p.m. So at 2 p.m. I have to do something. So there was not much time. So what I said is like this. Uh, what is something faster that I can prepare? Something soup. Soup is going to be faster because like in, a, in 30 or 45 minutes, it's going to be, it's going to be ready this and i just prepare a soup like a uh, noodles uh, chicken and potatoes eat it like uh, something faster because like uh, if you if you live like uh, perhaps with a spouse or in a couple maybe your spouse <laughs> is preparing something special right. but if you're like uh, uh, a a a single liver what i mean is like uh, i think there is not much time to prepare like an no fancy cuisine. Nah, let's prepare something like an something fry. But uh, sometimes when I when I have time, what I do is like this. Okay, I'm gonna prepare something like a, a Peruvian cuisine or sometimes like an Italian cuisine. And I, I love I love cooking. When I have time, I take my time and I prepare. But if there is not much time, what I do is like say, okay, something faster, fry something, fry an egg and. Right. Or perhaps like a uh, scrambled egg and with a bread, with something, mix it, sandwich, it's done with uh, some juice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perhaps breakfast or lunch is done. As you can see, because like uh, nowadays in this quarantine, no deliveries, no restaurants. Before I used to eat just the restaurants, but now I have to prepare something home. Huh? So youtube i learned watching videos on youtube you say hey how to prepare this food like that follow the steps this 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 so like and i think like that youtube is teaching me how to how to become a chef not a yeah. professional but an amateur chef it might be okay 
right? That's our son has to cook his own food now as well. But I feel every young man should know how to cook. Every young man. A way to a woman's heart is cook a good meal for her, okay? <laughs> and do the yeah. dishes. <laughs> but um, I'm curious, though. Um, does in, your husband cook? Every, every once in a while, he does the grilling. He used to make pancakes all the time and fry eggs. But, um, okay, the question I have, what is a national dish of Peru? What is... Oh, you got it. You know, okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. So what we got here, the national Peruvian food is ceviche. Have you heard about it? Have raw fish. Heard? Raw fish. Yeah. And lime juice. Yeah, ceviche. <laughs> I've never ate it, but I have, I have heard about it. I've heard it's actually very good. Yeah, it's like uh, what, what do you have is a raw fish, uh, juice, lime juice. Right. And then onion, what else? Uh, sweet potato and corn, but not dry corn. It's like, you know, when is it still like, you know, in the process, is this, this type of corn yeah. and what else? Corn, lemon. Yeah, it's no, no more than that. It's yeah, like it, a preparation, and, but it's delicious. Yeah, it has to have the lemon juice because that's what cooks the fish. The citrus does. <laughs> Is one time, like, you know, I invited an American guy from Oklahoma. He was uh -huh. visiting my apartment. So what I said is, okay, I'm going to teach you how to prepare ceviche. Okay, we prepare that day ceviche. So I told him, please, can you squeeze the, the lime? So the lime, you have to squeeze it like in a soft. Right. But if you sque squeeze harder, like a <laughs> because the, the peeling of the lime, it's like an uh, is bitter. Mm -hmm. So if you squeeze it harder, stronger, that means like an, uh, the bitter is co it's going to be mixed with a juice. So after this preparation, I, I think like an, uh, he he told me, okay, it's already done. I have already squeezed this one. Okay, try to mix, but I didn't realize he that he did it strongly, and then. When we mix the raw fish with the lemon lime juice, was bitter. You said, "Dude, what did you do?" <laughs> that uh, was like an uh, that an experience that what what I had. Then I prepare again with a different lemon. I mean lime juice, and then you say, "Okay, now it's better because like uh, you have you need to know how to squeeze the lime. If not, right. it's gonna be bitter the the juice." Right. Now, if I understood you right, too, you said that you'd live near the ocean, Lima. Like yeah, Lima is out. Pacific Ocean. Yeah, I bet it is beautiful. Your sun, sun, do you see mainly sunsets there or sunrises? Um, by the afternoon, you can see the sunset. It's beautiful. Oh. Uh, 5.30 to almost 6, 6 p.m., there is a sunset beautiful by the beach because we that the capital city is by the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. So you can see the sunset from there by the afternoon. Now, is is it like California, uh, you know, is by the Pacific Ocean. And when the fog comes in, it is so cold. Uh, uh, I was I was in California. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. What I mean is like, uh, if we talk about here, I mean, the rain, if we talk about maybe the weather in Lima, the capital city, the rain is like in a drizzling. It's not like in a, a downpour, not like that. It's like in a, just a little. You say perhaps when people come from different parts, like in a, the tropical area, when they come to live here, you say, hey, where's the rain? I don't see any rain. It's just drizzling, just a little. Yeah. And then, uh, and also because I think, I think Lima is located by the, um, it's a desert. It's not like a, when you go, for example, like perhaps like a, to the jungle, you see the, the huge trees that here. No, it's, I think this place was founded in a desert, but it's not desert, desert, but it's, it, it is a desert. Yeah. 
Well, when you think of the Inca and stuff, you because um, I, I think of Mexico and stuff, but you think of like they worship the sun gods and stuff. You think of it being hot there in, in, in Peru. I think yeah. of it being hot because um, I haven't talked to anyone that lives by the ocean. <laughs> so you have the best of both worlds, actually. For example, Inca Empire was by the mountains. This is located by the, the cent south central of Peru. That is like Cusco, as I told you previously. Mm -hmm. The Machu Picchu is located by this side. And also the In Inca Empire was like gonna conquer in different countries, different communities. So they expanded to Ecuador, the north of Peru, Ecuador. They were like gonna, in these areas too. Chile, a part of Chile, the north of Chile, Argentina, the south of Argentina, and this area was like you know, the it's like you know, the Ma the Mayans, the Aztecas, like in you know, Mexico. It was right. similar, like the Inca Empire was like you know, expanding, expanding right. before before like you know, the the colonies arrived from Spain, and then they killed gone. them. Yeah, gone. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay, Carla. I've enjoyed talking to you. Your English is out of this world amazing. I very, was very going good. to say that too. His English is amazing. There's someone now, someone in the audience from Peru now saying, I'm from Peru too. You're my first person from Peru that I know who has been here. Well, you what's your question? Are... You are the first person from Peru who I've spoken to on the show. Oh, thank you. This is, that, that means I am a lucky one. This is the first one who is, right. who right. is speaking to you. You say, hey, dude, yeah. today's day. I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm getting a lot of new countries today. It's really very, very cool. I mean, we had the guy from Guinea. Well, no, he's not from Guinea. I don't remember where he was from. We have Peru here. We had, um, it's really fascinating to me. Um, I'm glad to talk to you guys, like uh, interacting with people from different parts of the world. It's like an amazing, for example, I think Pamela Hills, Miss Hills, I think she's from the States. And Miss yeah. Carla, I think she is from UK I, because she has no. her. <laughs> no, <laughs> Washington DC. Oh gosh, I we had Brazil <laughs> here. Yeah, we had um, India here. Where else? Bangladesh, Bangladesh. and Peru. Yeah, Peru. I mean, I that's so. what I love about doing the show, that I get people from all over the world coming and speaking to me. And it's like speaking to people in my living room. Well, I am speaking. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like we're all sitting in the same living room and talking. It's yeah. awesome. Traveling the world and never leaving home. <laughs> and, and, you know, you know, guys. Like you know, after this quarantine, this ended. I think like you know, planning to visit U.S. because this is one of my. It's not a dream, dream, but like you know, it's one of them to visit: New York, Washington, California, L.A., San Francisco, and some areas. And also, I wanna, I wanna visit Salt Lake City. People tell me like you know, there is a huge mountain there. Yeah. Yeah, the Mormons um, have a huge storage there of, because they they are always prepared. They have food back for at least five years. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. This like you know, visiting those places like you know, before dying, you have to do something with this, like uh, not just like in your own country, just like uh, right. explore. It's, this is like a phrase. The grass is greener. No, the grass is always greener the other side. You said. On no, the I other mean. side of the fence. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm from Ohio, but my husband's retired military. 
So I've been to South Korea, lived in uh, Germany for five years and saw all the countries and, nice. and chipped at the Berlin Wall when it was coming down. So there, there is so much to see and do. Um, you know, a lifetime isn't enough to see this world. Okay, Carla. Okay. Um, someone was saying, please add me. I cannot add people. This is in Zoom. You need to have the Zoom app to come to the show. And then here you see a link for GiggleFest University. You click on the link and it brings you to a page that has the Zoom link and the Zoom password. We are closing now in a few minutes. Don't worry about coming today but you can come some other day and join us and speak to me in English. I don't know where you're from. I don't, Omanov, that could even be Russia. I have no idea, but please come another day. Along with it, the, we are about to close this show we will be back tomorrow at, I'm giving you two times, you're going to have to figure it out where you are at, but it will be at 9.45 p.m. Pakistan time, 12.45 p.m. New York time, and we will once again speak in English. And remember, this show is sponsored by the Institute of Peace, which is an online organization promoting peace one conversation at a time. And I know there's something I'm forgetting to say. And oh, the YouTube channel. If you want to watch any old shows, you can either watch them on this page because everything's still there or you can download, go to YouTube and find my shows and more shows, not just this show. You'll find my interviews, you'll find my Mind Core show, all at GiggleFest University on YouTube. And there's changes coming to the website. You'll see them very, very soon. With that, let's wave goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello from Peru.